climate change is in fact real. It has climate has changed on the earth for millennia. Okay, that's just the natural state of things. Climate is not static in no way, shape, or form. So that's the first point. The second point is yes, carbon dioxide does have an effect. However, as you point out, it is somewhat on, on the lower side of things, almost minuscule. And the reason had to do with the fact that we have reached saturation of the effect. The effect of carbon dioxide on warming the atmosphere happens in the first 100 parts per million. And then after that, it's a logarithmic scale and, it, and the effect flattens out at the top. We're very nearly at the top of the curve of the effect of carbon dioxide warming the planet. It's flattening out. The, the ability for additional carbon dioxide to flatten or to uh, affect the temperature is, is quickly diminishing. There we go. Thank you. Yep. This, this mod trend calculation here um, shows exactly what I'm talking about. In the first 100 parts per million, just there, I'll leave it there. Thank you. Yep. Um, first 100 parts per million, it's just a rapid increase. And then it tapers off the more and more you get to. And so the idea of climate running away, you know, due to carbon dioxide isn't going to happen. So yes, carbon dioxide does have an effect. It's smaller as it gets larger in terms of the amount of concentration of CO2. That's the number one point. The second point is what I brought up in my surface station project is that we are retaining more and more heat in our local areas due to increased infrastructure, increased climate, uh, pardon me, increased concrete, asphalt, and so forth and so on, are retaining heat at night. And the more artificial structures and surfaces we have in the vicinity of the thermometer, the more it warms the temperature at night. It doesn't get as cold. Well, the climate folks track climate change, per se, using the average temperature. And so the average temperature is obtained by averaging between the high and the low. Well, if the low goes up and the high stays the same, then the average is going to go up. And that's the result. We get a warming planet mostly based on the nighttime temperature going up. And both, and that's due both to carbon dioxide retaining, uh, retarding heat going to space and because we've got more localized influences of infrastructure retaining heat, which affects the thermometers. It's just that simple. Mm -hmm.